You don't need anybody to believe in you. You don't need anybody to come up and step up and say, oh, yeah, you can do it. We need you to get up there and start doing the action. Because once you start doing the actions, you start building the confidence. Confidence doesn't come before the action. The action starts to build the confidence. All right, let's go. If you were tired of not feeling fit, tired of not having the focus, tired of just not having the relationships in your life, or just not the financial resources that you deserve to have, this is the Live 100 Podcast. This is the place you come to break the bad habits that no longer serve you so you can live the life you want and have the success and the results that you deserve. Today, we're talking about what's in the name. And just want to think back, right? So, so my name, Jason. Jason means healer. Right. So if you think about that, you know, healer can be on many things. Healer can be one who just continues to, to heal upon myself as I, as I face adversary, right? Or how I can help others forward, right? So my name stands for healer, right? So what we do here at Live 100 is that we help people take apart what has happened in the past and use that to build momentum to get the success that they want in their life. So I ask you, what do you stand for? What is your name? And your name may come from many things, right? Your name may be something that, that your parents liked or the people, person who gave you the name liked at the moment. It would be something of a time that was important at the moment. It could be something that comes down that was passed down for generations, right? It could be something that's based on something historically, right? It could be something. But what does it mean to you? And what is it going to mean going forward? Many times in life, right, we look at ourselves. We look at ourselves to have a personal brand, look at ourselves to have identity. But I ask you, right? What is that identity going to stand for? And what is it going to pass on going into the future? When people look back and they say your name, what are they going to think about? How have you shown up? How have you identified yourself today in this world? And if you haven't shown up and you haven't been accountable to yourself and you haven't been disciplined to your actions, disciplined to your results, what are you going to change today? What you stood for in the past does not mean that what you have to stand for in the future. What was you before does not have to be you tomorrow and going forward. You can radically change your life right now. You can radically change who you are right at this moment. Your name can stand for anything you want and it can build you to greater, greater, greater and higher levels. But it starts with you being accountable to yourself, being disciplined to yourself, and then taking action forward. So think about it. You know, what was your name? What is your name today? How is it going to carry forward you? How is it going to carry forward your legacy? What is the, the principles you stand for, right? So if you, if you are your own company, if you are your own branding, like what do you stand for? Look back at our, our real estate investment firm. You know, we have vision, versatility, right? And value. That's what we offer here at your Rusi Holdings, right? So your Rusi stands for value. It stands for versatility. It stands for the vision that we have to be able to grow, to expand. Live 100, right? The Akato, the Akato standing forward for you to have the energy to get the knowledge to awaken, to transform to the opportunities and to optimize the life that you deserve to have. So what do you stand for today? Where is the line in the sand that you will not cross because you are on this side doing the great things that you deserve to have and deserve to do in your life? We need you. We need you more than ever right now to step up to the plate and become that person. The world is facing many things, many challenges, many adversities, right? And it hasn't changed, but it's just going to continue to get worse. And if you want to step up and have impact and not only lead yourself, but lead your family, lead your your wife, lead your kids, lead your parents, right? Lead the world forward. We need you. You don't need anybody to believe in you. You don't need anybody to come up and step up and say, oh, yeah, you can do it. We need you to get up there and start doing the action. Because once you start doing the actions, you start building the confidence. Confidence doesn't come before the action. The action starts to build the confidence. So what is your name going to stand for today? doesn't matter how your name came about. It doesn't matter if your name, you don't even know if it came from any meaning or any purpose or any result. You can create that destiny. You can create that result. You can create that outcome. Most of the time, we sit in the sidelines and we just wait for something to come back and and to, to have semblance or to have reasoning, right? Or to give us purpose. But we create purpose. We create future outcome. We 
curate what lies ahead. It starts with us. It starts with us being disciplined to ourselves, being committed to our actions, and being committed to our results. We all hear these stories, right? We all hear these stories where people were down and out and then all of a sudden they came about and they created magic, right? We hear these uh, things that we talk about so many times. You think about the, um, you know, uh, Ray Kroc who, who found a McDonald's or was uh, one of the people that helped really transform McDonald's of how they took that vision. We talk about, uh, you know, Colonel Sanders, right? You know, get into his late sixties, just going around trying to sell his uh, Kentucky fried chicken recipe, right? You, you talk about all these people that face diversity for all these times. What if they just stopped? You think about what their name means today. You think about what they mean today as society, how much impact they have, how much value they've created, how many jobs they've created, how much just contingent, continual growth they've created in this world. And that's fast food. Think about you. Think about the impact you can have. And it doesn't have to be gigantic worldwide impact. Think about the impact you can have, not only in yourself, but just in your family. Think if your name starts to mean purpose, right? Someone says your name today and they know that you mean business. You mean value. You mean creation. You mean success. How do you think that's going to look to the ones that work with you? How do you think that's going to look to your significant others? How do you think your kids are going to look up to you? What do you think could change if you start to ask yourself, what does my name mean? What principles do I stand for? What values do I have in my life? Put your line in the sand today. Stand up and say, this is what I am. And this is who I am. Doesn't matter what your name means or what it has served to be before. You can create what it means going forward. Today is a great day to choose who you are. Sometimes people have to step outside themselves and become something else, right? They, they give themselves a new name, right? We think of all these people that, that basically have a name, but they create a new name, a new identity, a new value, right? You see a lot of time in artists, right? Why do they do that? Because they want to stand up and, and, and be another version, right? They want to step outside themselves and have another value to the world, right? Even though they're still that person, this is this person when they come on stage. You can create your own destiny and it starts with you today to give yourself the name and give yourself the reasoning behind it why you stand up to be that name. So today, I stand before you to help push the Live 100 message forward as Jason Yerusi. Jason being the healer, Yerusi being a family name that serves to have purpose, right? To serve to have value, to serve to have a vision, but be versatile to, as the world continues to give us life's challenges. So I ask you today, what is your name going to mean for? What is your name going to stand for? Many times things change, but what you stand for is going to be remembered for years out. And if you're not happy with where you are today, just change. Make a small change today. Tomorrow, make another change. The next day, follow back again with one more change. Just keep showing up one more time after another. Things are going to continue to move forward. Do you know your Rusi? It's spelled Y A R U S I. I'll tell you something. There, there are no Y's in the Italian language. So your Rusi is actually an Italian name, but there's no Y's. So as the family came over from Italy and passed through Ellis Island, they thought that name was too confusing as the original spelling. The original spelling, your Rusi, was I A R R U S S I. So my identity tried to get washed away as they brought my family through Ellis Island. Because why? Because there's no whys in the Italian language. You know, so many people today still think, like the Italians, they think it's it's Polish, right? I get Japanese, right? You get all these things that, you know, you're Ruski or, you know, Yamaguchi, right? I, I've been having all these things confused, but you're Rusi, right? Because it got transferred from what it originally was. But you know what? I can go back and say, oh man, you know, that's taken away my identity, taken away, you know, you know, my life. No. That's my name today, and I'm going to make the most of it. So I ask you, what are you going to make the most of? What are you going to stand up for? What are you going to live for? What are you going to add to your life today? What is your name going to stand for? And who are you going to be the person behind that? Let's take action today. Let's live to our higher purpose. Let's be our greater self, and let's come with everything we have right now, right this second, right this moment. All right, so if someone else needs to hear this message today, go out in there and share this podcast with someone else who needs to hear this message. This podcast continues to grow to massive levels because of how you continue to get this out. We need more people to come out here and live 100 together. 
you can do us anything, give us an honest rating to review. We love all these great reviews down here. It's been so much and so much impactful to continue to allow this podcast to grow to the heights it has. Let's do this.